morning, everyone. So today in our gospel, we are going to hear about how the Pharisees tried to trick Jesus. It came down to this debate on if people should follow the government or God. And they were trying to follow two different sets of rules. So these two different sets of rules didn't always mesh. They didn't always agree with each other. So one set of rules they had was given to them in their Bible. And we also know this as the Torah or the Tanakh. And then we also have another set of rules that the Roman government gave them. And the Pharisees wanted Jesus to pick a side, God or Rome. Now, if he picked God, then the Roman government would have every right to arrest him. But if he chose the Romans, then it looks like he's betraying God. And neither of these sound like good options. So by the end of the story, it kind of seems like Jesus makes a compromise here, right? Let's split it. Give to Caesar what belongs to him and give to God what belongs to God. Easy enough, right? But if we look a little bit harder at what Jesus is saying, it's way better than that. And to find it, we actually have to do a little bit of digging. And there's one sentence in this story that can actually give us some clues. So let's look at what Jesus is asking here. He asks, whose head is on this coin? And we even see that in our own coins today. Like we see George Washington and Abraham Lincoln, Susan B. Anthony, and all sorts of other important people in American history on our money. And that's still true in Jesus's time. So now there are a few different ways like, Jesus could have asked that, right? Like, who says whose head is on here? He could have asked, whose picture is this? Who is depicted here? Or, whose image is this? Now, when we hear that word, image, that should set off a little light bulb for us, right? We hear that word in other stories in the Bible. But there's one particular story, the creation story, that can really help us understand what Jesus is trying to say. So now let's think back to that story. We learn that God takes some time to make all of the things. God makes the skies, the seas, the sun, the moon, the land, and all the animals. And then God makes people. God makes us. Now, while God makes a note that each and everything that is a part of creation is good, people get a little bit of a distinction. We're a special creation. In Genesis 1, we learn that we are made in the image of God. We are made to be like God, each and every one of us. So let's get back to what we hear in the gospel. We hear Jesus ask about the head on the coin, the image on the coin. This is where he tricks the tricksters. These coins are made in the image of Caesar, so they belong to Caesar. They should be used for Caesar's will. Now, taxes like this were would be used to pay for like armies or roads or to expand the empire. And sometimes even it was unfortunately used just for Caesar and his own benefit. And no one else's. So with that in mind, what is Jesus saying when he says, give to God what is God's? Now, if we follow the same logic, we're the ones that are made in the image of God, right? This is where we get to be a part of the story. This is where you're a part of the story. I'm a part of a story. All of us are in this. Just like Caesar uses his taxes to do his will, God uses us to do God's will in the world. Just like taxes are used to fund armies, build roads, supply schools, all that stuff, we are used to show God's love to the world to love our neighbors, and to be there for our friends who may need some extra help. So really, this is more than just an argument about what people should do with their money. This is about Jesus claiming us and bringing us into the work that he's doing. He's reminding us that we are made in the image of God. You are made in the image of God. All of us are made in the image of God. So now when you listen to the gospel today, listen for that part. Listen for where you can see yourself in the story 
and for all the ways God is using you in the world.